Hello, hello, hello everyone. So today we are going to be looking at how to bring over data from Twitter into Nine. This is one I'm super excited about because I love, love, love to analyze um, Twitter data. So when I saw Nine could do this, I was super, super happy. So first you need to have the extension that's relevant. And for that, you need to go to the install Nine extensions and search for Twitter. And you need to install this one, the nine Twitter connectors. Once you do that, you can search for the Twitter API connector. You need this one to be able to make queries on Twitter and to bring the data in. In here, you're going to put in your API key information, which you, you can get if you have a Twitter developer account. I'll put a link on how you can request one uh, in the comment section. So once you have once you have your API connector set up, it's super straightforward. It just asks for your key information. Search for the Twitter search node. There's actually many nodes, as you can see that um, you can do with Twitter. You can search. You can use the Twitter users node timeline. So many different ones uh, you can post to Twitter. But we're going to be focusing on the one to bring in a whole bunch of data into Nime, and that is the Twitter search node. So click on it and tell it what you want. So let's say I want to get the most recent stocks, sorry, the most recent post. I'm getting ahead of myself. I want to get the most recent post about the Microsoft stock because this is like my favorite stock in the world. So I'm just going to have the query MSFT. I'm going to get the most recent ones and I want a thousand of those. So you got to put that in here. You can specify exactly what to bring. You can adjust the retry so if anything happens it can retry usually nothing happens so i'm going to leave it at zero but you can put it at one or two to be extra cautious you can bring in all the fields for the tweets and the users but i'm just going to select a couple and for the user side i think the username id description and uh, maybe the I think language is good as well so you can filter things out and location will be good so once you specify everything you want you click on OK and you run okay that's done running it took about uh, 40 or so seconds to run so you have a whole bunch of data um, you can see you have some repeats so you're definitely gonna want to do a whole bunch of data cleaning on this on this textual data including getting rid of duplicates so yeah, you have um, tweets about the ticker symbol Microsoft stock. All right, you guys, so that's pretty much day six. That's how you not only query Twitter data, but you also bring it into Nime. Super, super simple, super, super straightforward and super, super fun. I hope you have a nice time querying a whole bunch of things like, you know, cats and dogs and, and whatnot. That's day six and I will see you in day seven, a couple of minutes from now because I'm doing those two today. All right, guys, see you soon.